Happy day, everyone. So let me talk about the nature and tools of uh, research. Although I emphasized this one in the first few meetings that we did uh, last time, but uh, today I would like to emphasize this one concretely or specifically or certainly. Research is actually not merely gathering information, ravaging around for hard to locate information transporting facts from one location to another. So that's not actually the, the main focus of uh, research. Research is a word that is used loosely in everyday conversation and therefore it must be defined clearly for professional use. Um, you must have a clear definition of uh, research. What is actually research? Research as defined by many authors uh, you are going to read books in research, you're going to open different websites, then there would be many definitions. But in this case, according to Creswell in 2015, 2016, 2017, research is a systematic process of collecting, analyzing, interpreting information or interpreting data. And that data could be quantitative or qualitative or a combination between quantity and qualitative data. What is actually the goal of uh, having research? To increase our understanding of a phenomenon about which we are interested or concerned. Our focus is on formal research or research intended to be communicated to a scientific community. So why I emphasize scientific community because there might be some people who would like to read our research articles, our completed research articles, our completed thesis, our completed dissertation, but uh, they would not understand because they don't have the expertise. So, there might be some cases that they are actually outside the field and they could not understand. So it is emphasized, uh, our focus is on formal research, or research intended to be communicated to a scientific uh, community. I can remember when I presented my research proposal and one of the panel members told me that, uh, it, very badly, uh, she told me, I don't understand that your research proposal, I don't understand what you are talking about. Uh, so I felt slighted and then uh, I, uh, I replied, uh, of course you would not understand because uh, you're not a math teacher, you're not a math educator. So what I'm talking about in this proposal is all about math teaching, math education, how to teach math, uh, but your field is not math. So basically you would never understand what I'm talking about. So that's what I mentioned about uh, to be communicated to a scientific community. And I mentioned about the cyclical process of uh, doing uh, research. According to Chris Will, you start with the identification of the research problem. It's not identification of the title. I always emphasize that one to all my research classes. It's not identification of a title. But in all research processes, uh, the starting point is the identification of a research problem. And that I define a research problem as a problem where you need to collect data, you need to present, organize the data being collected, you're going to make an analysis of the data being collected, of the data being presented or organized. Above all, you're going to make the interpretation of those different data being collected, being organized, being presented, and being analyzed. It's not actually a kind of problem that when you're going to read the articles in the internet, you can find an answer to that problem. That's not the kind of research problem that we're talking about in here. If you're going to ask someone, you're going to ask your colleagues, your co-teachers, your co-professionals, and then they could actually give you answer to your research problem. That's not what we're talking about in a uh, research problem. According to Chris Well, that uh, when we look up into a research problem, it is actually stated in interrogative statement, and that kind of interrogative statement is unanswered question, unanswered statement of the problem. 
And uh, if you are going to review related literature, if you could not find answers to what you have posted, uh, you could not uh, search answers uh, using different websites, different articles, different uh, resources. And even if you're going to ask your colleagues, they could not give you answers to what you have posted, then that means uh, that is the kind of research problem that we're talking about in here. And then uh, number two, you go to the review of related literature. So why are you going to have the review of related literature after the identification of the research problem? Because there might be a case now from your end point, you're not able to find answer. And then based on the review of the related literature, it's there. You can find answers to what you have posted. So you don't need to undergo that kind of research. Why? There are actually many literature that could provide answers to what you have posted. If you're going to do that, then it's actually a repetition. And what you are going to get in your research process would just be exactly the same to what are being mentioned in the different review of related literature that you have actually conducted. And then after that, you're going to plan. No? What's actually the plan of making your research process? So, and then once you have the plan, it will start with the collection of the data. Then you go to the presentation organization of the data. Then the analysis of the data. Then the interpretation of the data. You are going to make the necessary conclusions. And after the conclusions, you are going to have the recommendations. After you have the recommendations, the entire research has been completed already. Then you are going to have that as a presentation reporting of uh, the results of the study to whom you are actually uh, studying. In most cases, uh, the final output is just a hard bound no, of the research uh, article or maybe the thesis or maybe the dissertation. And then after having the hard bound, it is just being placed uh, into the shelves no, of the office. And uh, that will be read by another uh, researchers uh, in the future or later. But my perspective of uh, having a completed uh, thesis, having a completed dissertation, or a completed uh, research, it must be disseminated. It must be communicated. And how are you going to communicate the outputs, the findings of your study? you go back to the population of uh, your study. Remember at the very start, you're going to have the target of uh, your study. Who are the targets of your study? What are the targets of your study? If the targets of your study are actually teachers of the Department of Education in Dumaguete, then completing all of those uh, processes in doing the research, you have the completed uh, output, you have the completed thesis. You go back to the teachers of the Department of Education of the Maguete, and then present the findings of the study, and then present also the recommendations of uh, your study. So by then, you're able to communicate you know, the findings of your study. You're going to go back there, and then you're going to tell, I was the researcher who did the data collection, and now, I have completed my thesis and I am ready to present the findings of my study and the recommendations of my study. With the belief that uh, the recommendations uh, could actually offer some possible solutions to the problem that you are facing as teachers of uh, DepEd here in Tumagini City. If your target uh, is actually student, uh, the target uh, population is actually set of students in the Department of Education of Dumaguete City. Then you go back there, present the findings and the recommendations, uh, so with the conclusions of your study to those students of the Department of Education of Dumaguete. And by then, uh, you're able to let them know, aha, these are the findings and these are the recommendations. Remember that uh, in the research uh, Thesis, uh, research uh, process, for example, sorry, research uh, process. You're going to look up into significance of the study. In that part, you're going to identify who can benefit the findings of your study. Who 
who are those people? What are those different agencies that could benefit the findings of uh, your study? So when you are going to disseminate the findings of your study, you go back to those different agencies that you have identified as part of the significance of your study. You go back to those people indicated in the significance of uh, the study. And then present the findings of your study, the conclusions, as well as the recommendations. Otherwise, uh, you have just written those different uh, people, those different agencies in the significance of the study, just to complete the requirement of a thesis or of a dissertation or any kind of research paper. But the, the very purpose of indicating, writing, those different people in the significance of the study and telling what benefit can you get from the findings of your study is that when you are able to finish your thesis, when you are able to finish your dissertation, when you are able to finish your research, you have to go back to those people identified in the significance of the study, share the findings, share the conclusions, share the recommendations. Because our purpose of doing research is to identify research problems, problems that are researchable, and after identifying those different problems that are researchable, you are going to collect the data, present the data, analyze the data, interpret the data, have the necessary findings, conclusions, and recommendations with the thought in mind that uh, you're able to offer a possible solution to those problems. But how can you offer possible solutions to the problems that you have identified to the people whom you consider as the targets of your study, the targets of your research, the targets of your thesis, the targets of your dissertation, if you don't go back there and share the findings, the conclusions, as well as the recommendations of your study? So I'm so desperate as a professor of research methods and a practicing researcher that when people are able to finish their researches, they're able to finish their thesis, their dissertations, all of those are being uh, uh, put into the shelves and uh, who would read uh, those different completed thesis, dissertations, or research uh, papers, the next uh, researchers. The researcher himself, the researcher herself, uh, is not able to go back to the target population of the data were being collected, in which uh, that must be you know, the, the, the terminal output, the, the ultimate goal of doing research, the final step of uh, the research process, disseminate the findings, disseminate the conclusions, disseminate the, the recommendations to your target population. So I would like you to uh, watch this video and then keep on watching so that you will be able to have a better idea on how are you going to do your own thesis, your own dissertation, and your own research process. Once again, happy day, everyone.